So today, um, I have a haul. Now, if you don't know on this channel, I love doing hauls. Hauls are like my favorite thing to do. Um, and when I shop, I try to figure out can I do a haul with this what I got. And I think this time I got out of products to do a haul, like kind of a mini haul. It's not many, I went to like three places and they're all beauty related, so. Um, this will be the last haul for a while. I gotta start saving up money so I can get a laptop. And then, so I can do the VIB sale um, when it comes, I think it comes in November or October. And then I need to save up for the Lush sale that they have after Christmas. Or I might buy a few things before Christmas from Lush because I do like Lush around Christmas time. But anywho, we're just going to get into this. So I went to three places, and the first one we're going to start off with is MAC. Yes, I love MAC. The thing I love about MAC the most are their lip products because they're amazing. Who isn't ready for fall at this point? The heat was ridiculous. So I got the trend because you know the trends have usually been like dark lip colors lately. So I got some lip colors to try this fall. Um, last fall I was wearing Rebel a lot and then this Whisper color I got from Maybelline. So I got me a lip liner for these because they bleed easily on me. So I went ahead and invested in lip liner. This is the color Burgundy. And she said this could go with both colors because I said one lip liner that will go with both these colors. And she gave me three options and I think this one fit the best. And it's kind of like a dark red with purple undertones. There it is. So I can use that to line my lips for this. And then the first color I knew I had to get. Everyone loves this color. So I was like, why not? And that is the color, and my mom was like, you when she saw this. But it is the color Cyber, and you see how dark that is? That is almost black. But when you swatch it, it's like a dark dawn, like, purple. And I'm so excited. This is like a goth purple. Then I got this one, which is Diva. I was going to actually get something called New York City Apple. And it was like this um, wine red, but it has sparkles in it. And I wasn't sure if I'd be able to deal with that. But this one is Diva, and it is a dark cranberry red. Well, more like a wine red. But last summer, I mean last fall, I mostly had, um, you know, purples. So I wanted a nice red, so I got that one. So I got two new fall colors, and I'm... I'm very excited to try. Next, I have Sephora. I love Sephora. Go ahead. Now, I just want to get a few things so I could go ahead and get my VIB card. Yeah, what? I am a VIB member. Finally, all my beauty addiction has paid off finally. So the card is already popped out. She popped it out for me. In here, you get three things, three offers. You get 10% off your next purchase in store or online, free shipping, and then a complimentary makeover. Now, the thing with this, um, the complimentary makeover, I probably won't use. I'll probably pass on to like my mom or someone. Uh, I don't really like people doing my makeup. I like to do my own makeup because I'm very OCD about my cat eyeliner. That is the only eyeliner I will wear is cat eyeliner because I like. I'm just addicted to it, and um, like the slightest uneve unevenness of the two, I will go insane until I can correct it to where it is almost there, and if someone points out that it's, I get up really upset, like really, really upset, like self-conscious of my face, thinking people are staring at my uneven eyeballs, so, yeah. I'm really excited about this. So hopefully that means I can go to the VIB sale. So please tell me down below if that means I can go to the VIB sale. I know I'm not a VIB rouge, so I probably won't go to that event. But I mean, the VIB sale itself, I'll get the offer, right? Okay. So I just got a few things there. I didn't go crazy in Sephora like I usually do. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Look at that. So weird. So I decided to pick up the waterproof eye makeup remover from Sephora because people say that this is really good. It looks similar to the Lancome makeup remover 
which I am obsessed with. I love that makeup remover. It's my favorite makeup remover. Um, the thing is, I do not love the price. It is 40 bucks for the long come one for just a bottle about twice this size. This is 10 bucks, and I think that's if they doubled the size and made it 20 bucks, I think that would be fair enough price. But if this doubled its size and it cost 40 bucks, I don't think so. So there's basically, as you can see, two layers, and you shake it up before using it. Um, I did love it when I was removing my makeup in Sephora. Uh, they do have it out, and you can pump it down onto a tissue, and that just helped remove the makeup. So I just thought, go ahead and pick it up to try it and see if it will help with my mascara problem. I've become obsessed with using the Buxom Lip Glosses. I love the White Russian one I recently obtained. If you do not know what I'm talking about, go check out my last Sephora haul. Um, so this time I bought a different Buxom formula. This is just, I think, the regular lip glosses, like the ones that are named after people. This is the Sophia one. And I liked this one because it didn't have a lot of sparkle. I am not a sparkly lip gloss person. I used to be... When I first started in the makeup, I was like, oh my god, everything has to be sparkle. And then I realized it was really gritty and just not a good texture on my lips. So this one has a little bit of shimmer in it. This one has a little bit of shimmer. Um, but I think it's a really good everyday pink. Uh, sometimes, to me, the white Russian doesn't look good on me. And I'm like, okay. So I decided to pick up a nice everyday pink I could wear when I don't feel like wearing white Russian. And I think this is really perfect. And I love the, I think they're a good investment. So that is the uh, Sophia. It is a, uh, I think it's a natural pink. It's not like a baby doll pink. It's not like a, a pink, it's like a pink. Uh, you might recognize this from the Christmas last year. I have been wanting these, but I thought $30 was too much for these. So finally, they marked it down to $9.99. And that is the Sweetly Glazed Body Souffles from Philosophy. And I was like, okay, I'm all over that. I've been waiting for them to knock them down to this. And they have. And so this one is the Almond Glaze. This, to me, is so sweet. I love it. I love the scent of it. God, it smells so good. I cannot wait to take a bath and rub this all over me. And then this is the raspberry glaze. Now, to me, this is different. I don't know if you saw what I that what I took off that. It was like a cap lid. This isn't a cap lid. You have to literally. This is what I hate. It's. I'm like what? So I just only peeled a little bit. And this does smell like a fruity glaze, like fruity icing. It's good. I like the almond glazed one better. The last place I want to show you is Bath and Body Works. I went in there to look at their fall scents because last year I don't I don't think I showed y'all the hauls, even though I filmed them, but then I deleted them. I'm sorry. Um Vermont Honey Apple, which is in my August favorites. So go look at my August favorites and you'll see the Vermont Honey Apple scent. Me and my mom stocked up on that scent. Like, I still have stuff of that scent from last year. And my mom does too. But we were hoping maybe they would come back again this year. It didn't. We were so mad. And they have a lot of pumpkin scents going on right now. And I smelled them all and just none of them were really appealing to me. So I was like, I'm not going to get it. So, they had the buy three, get two free. They had the buy two, get one free. And that's what I went ahead and did. Because I was, I'm on a budget right now. But I still like to shop. I know it's a bad combination. But until I start my new job and get my paycheck in about two weeks. <laughs> but I gotta save up. So, for myself, I bought the Lemon Pomegranate Cream Fragrance Mist. This was from their August and July scents. I'm not quite sure. To me, it smells like exactly what it says. You have that lemon scent, that pomegranate scent, and then towards the end, you get this tone of like sweet cream, like vanilla cream to me. So I picked it up. I didn't like anything else from that. So I just went ahead and picked this up for myself. And then my boyfriend, bless his heart, I don't think knows how to shop. Um, so when I was with him in 
on my birthday. I went to Bath and Body Works and I bought him a shower gel that he wanted. That he picked out the scent and he loved the ocean scent. So I went ahead and picked up another bottle for him because he said he ran out. And this little butthole knows what he's getting so he can watch this video. And then I was smelling the men collection to see what I would love to smell on him. <laughs> And I love the new scent they have out, which is the Alpine Suede. It smells like men. It smells like manly, manly men. God, it just, it smells so manly. So I just went ahead and picked this one up for him too. Because I was going to get him one of the other original scents, but I didn't like the newer or the Ember. And I couldn't reach the Twilight Woods. It was too high. Short girl problems. And then they have this new scent coming out um, called Perfect Fall Vanilla. What? And she gave me a little scent sticker of it because they had a sample. And I smelled it. It's true. It is like the Perfect Fall Vanilla. I'm so picking it up when it comes out. And it comes out September 29th. And that's when that coupon starts. And then the last thing I kept getting, I gotta stock up on Germex thingies because I'm a, I've kind of become obsessed with them. So my favorite scent, you gotta know, is the Vanilla Berry Sorbet. So I picked up two of those. Um, I picked up one of the Halloween ones, which is Vampire Blood, because I love vampires, which is actually Wicked Plum. And it does smell plummy. It smells like plum. Um, picked up for my boyfriend the ocean scent and it smells just like the shower gel. I did tape it though because it kept leaking so when I send it to him to his dorm I don't want it to leak so I just taped it. And then guys you've got to check out this scent. It's in nothing else but this Germex scent and it is called Mr. Fox Sugar Maple. Look at the cute little fox on it. It's so cute. It smells like breakfast. It smells like breakfast. And so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. So when I got home, my mom had smelled this in the car and my dad smelled this in the car and they loved it. So when I got home being the person I am with leftover money from, I had a certain amount I could spend and I still have money. So what do I do? I get online at bathandbodyworks.com and I order five of these because it's five for five. I order five of these, um, uh, these strawberry scented Germexes, like strawberry, fresh strawberries. I order three of those, one pumpkin pecan waffle, and one graham cracker marshmallows. It has like a picture of a s'mores. So, and then I got a little, you know those little thingies that you put these inside of? Like cute little thingies that hang off your purses. I got one in the shape of a fox because I love foxes. So, yeah, those will be on its way soon, hopefully. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to surprise my mom with them. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know I have an addiction problem. Trust me, I know. My bank account is not happy with that. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below, what is your favorite store to shop at? Like, a store that you would use every paycheck you ever got on. Like, mine would probably be Sephora. If I could spend my paychecks and not have to pay for anything else in the world, like bills or anything, it would be Sephora. I love you, Sephora. And I love you guys, too. Hope you have a nice day. Bye!